Hello dudes, Marathon 13, welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode, we hung around the monastery, I'm pretty sure that's about all we did. We got supports from four different people that weren't even in our house, <laughs> and uh, we celebrated Bernadetta's birthday, and everyone was excited for the ball that's coming up at the end of the month, so. Otherwise, I don't believe we did anything else. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to start out with, we're going to do Paralog. So, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie, this is the second time I'm technically recording this episode, um, basic, no, oh, that's not what I wanted to do, I was thinking it was on the date, not the actual thing on the left. I'm not gonna say anything more about that, it was a little unfortunate, and, yeah, so we could actually still do two, uh, two paralogs, because we do have two points we can use, which is really cool, and I can still take a, a week to rest, which is also really good. So, we're gonna actually start out, uh, we're gonna do Oil and Water, it's the lower level mission, and also, I hate this. This is my least favorite map of the entire game so far. Um, <laughs> and I did try it. And it wasn't the reason... Th it wasn't because I was doing poorly on the map that I decided to reset the episode. Several things happened that required me to step away from the computer. And I just said, I'd rather restart this map anyway. So, uh, let's just deploy for this. Uh, this is between Manuel and Hanuman. And uh, they have predictably opposite reactions to a disturbing rumor going around the monastery. So, indeed. Oil and Water, White Clouds, Chapter 9, The Cause of Sorrow. <sighs> it's raining, Professor. On rainy days, the wound I got from the Death Knight hurts like fire. Every time it aches, I get angry. You understand, yeah? I'm sure they have their reasons to kidnap Flame, but still... Did they really need to stab me? What'd I have to do with it? You got in the they way. ruined my beautiful porcelain skin. Worse, they took off before I could stab them back. So rude. That's rather enough, Manuela. Cease your moaning and give the professor a break. Oh, stuff it, Hanneman. Unlike you, the professor has a big heart and listens to me talk about any problem I have. More likely, your incessant ramblings offer no chance to interrupt. Is that true, Professor? I think it's probably slightly a bit of both, but I'm gonna say Manuel is not bothering me because she really isn't. So. I knew it. You listen to me because you care about me, don't you? <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. Go away, Hanneman. Leave <laughs> us alone. And stop making me shout. It causes the old wound to hurt again. Then perhaps you'd best stay quiet. Keep your emotions in check, I'd say. Let's let's stop this now. Uh, don't worry, Professor. We do this all the time. Indeed, Manuela and I do not mix well. Been true for years. That said, if it were up to me, I would prefer speaking to her in a calmer manner. It's not like I enjoy bickering with you. So maybe keep your mouth shut more often. I state that which needs to be heard. For example... Let's all get along. I said these in the opposite order last time. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Same, same. Apologies. I am here because I have new information on the Death Knight's hiding place. What? Really? You could have started with that. Several students have reported possible sightings on the western edge of the sealed forest. While the authenticity of these reports has yet to be verified, it is still a very real possibility. I was thinking I would report this to Seven as a precaution. What? Why? We can't be slow. He's going to get away. Protocol on this matter requires reporting to Seven, then Lady Rhea, then... Professor, let's leave this old geezer behind and get going. Old geezer? I am barely 15 years your senior. I will not hear such... Stop talking! Let's gather a team and get going! I agree. I'll go scout ahead. I'm coming for you, Death Knight. Manuela, wait. I really wish you wouldn't. It would not do to get yourself killed without someone to avenge you. Honestly, the fact that she does run ahead is what makes this so difficult. So, we only get to bring seven units, 
and then one adjutant, and I, I, I think it's pronounced adjutant, and I've been pronouncing it wrong every single time. And what I did is last time I brought more of my weaker units, quote unquote. Um, so I did not bring Petra, Casper, Edelgard, or Ferdinand. I brought everyone else technically because Bernadetta was my adjutant. So the thing is, I've realized I need to bring Petra. Petra is uh, one of the characters I need. I mean, I guess I could bring someone else, but point is, I need someone with my my character's sort of skill set to go up one side and then the other one to go up the other to help Manuela because this is really dumb. I'm gonna show you the map here. Uh, Manuela is up here, kind of stuck. Now she can't escape because this archer is stupid, or the actual archer can't move. That I wondered. I continually wondered why the archer did not actually move um, <laughs> when I had her attack him when he could literally just step away and get another shot. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's why. But she can come up here, she can attack the archer and get past him, but the, the fact is that there's three other guys down here that are blocking her way. And then I don't know, I don't remember what turn it is, but then everyone starts going after her. So, uh, pretty much I need Flane to be up here and to be hanging out until Manuela gets down here so that Flane can rescue Manuela, bring her over to this side of the field, and then uh, we have everyone here to protect her. Because I also need a force to come up here and attack this dude, because we could also beat him to beat the map. Um, which you think could be a simpler option, but timing-wise, it just doesn't necessarily work out with the people I ended up bringing. So, yeah. Fact is that I want to bring a lot of my lower-leveled units, and I don't want Linhart to be a an adjutant, because I need him as a as physic, and I need Flane to come along as well with her rescue. She's the only one who has that. And this was where my problem was. <laughs> because you have Manuela and Hadaman, who were my two weakest units, who have to come. And, um, yeah. So I don't necessarily think we need Aelgar. I like Aelgar, but I don't think we need her. So the problem is I end up bringing too many magic users. And, uh, well, Manuela's a, a healer as well. Maybe we don't need Linhart if we have Flane. But Flane doesn't have Physic, which is really useful. And so here's another problem. I don't know who I actually would bench. Um, because I can't even bench Caleb, who's the strongest unit. And obviously, I mean, he's really good. But I can only bring seven. And it's an unfortunate situation. So Bernadetta, I want to bring as my adjutant. Because that's just how I want to do things. And now I need to figure out who all else is going to get benched. Because I do need Petra. I need both Petra and Linhart. But I can't... I could bring them both, but I have to bench someone else. Which in this case is going to be Dorothea. Actually, I don't need Ferdinand if I'm bringing Petra, because Petra's got seven movement. <laughs> Just as much as Ferdinand. Um, so, we'll do that. Even though Petra's a higher level, uh, I'd rather have her with a really high speed and her bow abilities. So, yep, that's how we're going to do things. Unfortunately, I can't bring Linhart, but what can you do? Alright, we're going to actually get started. We need to defeat the enemy commander or defeat conditions, either one of them falls in battle. And you can guess which was the actual problem losing in this fight. Manuela's in a tough spot, Professor. Even if she's only got herself to blame, we cannot abandon her. Exactly. Huh. We have plenty of visitors today. Let's stop their annoying rescue attempt. <laughs> now that is a woman. <laughs> Uh-oh, they've noticed me. Here they come. Alright, so first off, Petra gets to go this way. I'm bringing Petra al al along this way, and it's really nice how she can literally cut through all of that stuff. So we're going to give her the sword as equipped, and she's going to wait. And I'm going to have Caleb go up this way with these guys. And Flane will as well, so I just need to figure out, maybe I'll have Hubert go with them. Because we only really need two for that for that right side. Stay this is where, the, where the, the whole main force is. And this guy also does like absurd damage to Caleb. And it's, just, it's kind of crazy. Let us away. We can have Flane start out by hitting this dude hard. And we can let Caleb finish this guy just to get him out of here. So we don't have to even worry about him. That is that. Caleb will level up. I'm not... What does your gambit do? It is 26. That's pretty good. Group flames. But let's go for wind because it has the high crit chance. 
and it does, I think, a slight, slight a bit mount, more than fire. Anyway, uh, I'm the, I oh, this is the part where I'm con conflicted as to whether I have pet or excuse me, Manuela move up. Um, because the fact is that both of these guys are not in position necessarily to attack her immediately, but they'll start heading over to attack her. Um, if I have her move too much. Let's take them out. So we're gonna have you move here. She can also use silence, but I don't need that for now because I'm not worried about any sort of magic users. But Hanuman takes down the bandit. That's good. He went all the way around us. And yeah, Caleb mastered his skill for thief in this battle too. Okay, good. Luckily, Hubert doesn't take that much damage. Ah, oh, damn it, that really sucks. <laughs> Huber can't get around him. Let's just go for fire. So we don't waste Myers. That was something that also happened. But Hubert's gonna level up. Pretty decent level up. He gets a magic boost, which is really good. Alright, how much would I do with this bow? Alright. Enough! She looks fucking badass in her freaking outfit, dude. Man, it's awesome. Assassins look so damn cool in this game. Alright, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just go for, for thunder. That's okay. Do a large amount of damage. Our battalion levels up. That's cool. I'm gonna have Flane... Ooh, do I want Flane to heal up? Let's just do... We'll have Hanneman take this dude out instead, and we'll just... That'll work for me. An unfair match. And then we'll have... Flane come up here. Heal him. Well Alright, I will have Kalo come up here and stand at the front. I want to get rid of those things because it's hard to kind of see. Alright, uh, who all needs to move? Manuela, right. Alright, hold on. How much damage are you doing to Manuela? 16 with only a... And she's got Nosferatu. So I'll have her wait until that dude attacks her. I feel like that's probably the best idea. Well, actually, let's have her let's have her use a silence. Because I can prevent uh, one of these from attacking Petra. Yeah, you're gonna go for her. She dodges. Beautiful! She would have gotten some health back anyway, which would have been nice. Even if she had gotten attacked. So, she's not moving as fast as I would have liked. And Dorothea dodges. Good, good, good. Alright, I want you to come here and kind of, I don't want you to go there and wait yet. Because we need to get rid of that other dude. And Manuel is not even positioned to uh, deal with that. Or to be in... Be freaking able to do that. That's what I'm trying to say. Gosh. Alright, freaking fire. Take this guy out. Goodbye. Winning's always nice. Beautiful. Kind of speed running this now because I want to get this shit over with. But if I can have this guy draw, or this guy, Caleb, draw the attack, that'd be good. I will have you wait. You can only do rescue at the moment, so that's fine. We'll just leave you there. Hubert is unfortunately uh, behind. <laughs> How much can you do? Not bad. Alright, uh, I would always prefer you to use the. Oh, you can almost take him out. Well, that's okay. He only has literally a 17% chance to hit, so. Look how badass she made. I fucking love Petra. Petra's awesome. Alright, well, let's attack with Nosferatu. Take this dude down. And goodbye. Worthy of applause. Good job. Yep. No hit, and Petra takes you down. Flame spirit, protect me. Flames, dude, she is fucking Reka. <laughs> no, that's probably just a coincidence. I love, I love it though. It's hilarious. Goodbye. Should I have held back? No, you definitely should not have, Caleb. I'm glad you didn't. Ah, oh, yeah. Bernadette has got that same level up. 
every time. I didn't realize he was close enough to actually attack her. Yeah, I need Petra to get up there quick. Unfortunately, Hubert's stuck in the wings at the moment. But I need... Uh, Pet I need Petra to be there to protect Manuela in case things are getting out of hand quick. Witness Bridget Pride. And Brid <laughs> almost called her Bridget again. But oh my goodness, what a level up! I want Caleb to draw this dude to attack again, even though Caleb's too strong. It's just the fact is that every one of these other characters takes so much damage okay can you do you can only do 14 that's still good never mind she's going crit and goodbye good job manuela this time manuela is actually handling her own much better than she had in pre the previous attempt which is nice it all comes down to this yeah you're using your thing that's fine All right, we'll take you out with fire. You know what? At this point, Hubert might as well just go back. One more success. Hubert did not make it very far, unfortunately. It, Petra's movement is so good, dude. It's awesome. All right, we could have. Let's see. We could have Caleb attack the archer, I think, with it with the bow. Slightly unfortunate, but at the same time, because just the, the chance to get hit is the As was the main, my main worry, but it's okay. It's all good. And then Hanuman, maybe you can take this dude out with wind, indeed. Don't let my age fool you. For now, we can wait here. She's ne actually Manuel is nearly in range, dude. That's kind of crazy. I didn't realize she was already there. So, we'll have her wait here. A bunch of metal yeah, that now it is. Sorry. I didn't. I don't really care about what they're saying. What a bunch of metal some losers and now show them what the Death Good Gang is really made of. Okay. Let's heal up Petra. Yeah, I think. And she's gonna level up, which is nice. And Flame can rescue her. Use rescue on her. Bring her over to this side. Thank you. She's not in attack range. That's good, I believe, right? They're all gonna... The, 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 you're going for Petra, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna attack Petra, but that's not a smart thing. I'm gonna tell you that for now. So how far do you... How far can you go? Because I want... I'll... Oh, your Petra can move one space and be out of your attack range. So I'm gonna I'm gonna literally do that. <laughs> it's fine by me. Okay, Caleb's now in attack range, so let's give him the steel sword and have him wait. And well, do I need to move Hubert? Poor Hubert. Hubert literally got no action this match because he got in such an unfortunate place. Oh, you can't even attack. Yeah, you can't attack Caleb. Great. That's perfect, actually. Let's do it. Actually, why did I... I could have straight up attacked you with the bow. That's alright. Alright, let's rescue Petra now. Cool. Alright, now Hubert can start moving up. Woo! Way to go, Hubert! We'll have... Alright, you're gonna attack Hanuman. I don't want you to attack Hanuman, so I'm gonna have Hanuman. So we'll have you stand in front of her. I'm literally gonna. I'm literally going to leave her here. I'm not moving Manuela. I don't need to. I'm gonna just fucking wait, man. Yeah, you just you, you made a mistake by attacking Caleb. So it's as simple as that. How far can you attack? You can attack two spaces. All right, you have an iron bow. I can also hit you with an iron bow. I would do a lot of damage provided that dude actually hits. Can they not move? They cannot. They're st oh, this dude can move, but the archer cannot. So we'll have Petra come up 
I can do it. I can do that too, I think. Eh, I don't wanna... Uh, whoops, I just wanted to wait, not do items. Okay, well now that I knew what to do, uh, things went a lot more... S went a lot smoother, which is really, really nice. Because, God, I hated this. I hated going through this the first time. I couldn't... I don't know, man. It was just... It was frustrating. Unfortunately, Huber did not get to fight at all. Like, he got to fight that first dude, and that's about it. Okay, what do you have? You just have, you have a short axe. I mean, I feel like I honestly think Caleb... Who was higher defense? Caleb or her? Or Petra? Uh, it, well, they're tied, so it could be either or. Um, let me see. So I can attack this dude with Thoron. Let's do it. We are the Death God Gang. We're all unstoppable. <laughs> yes, that seems like unstoppable to me. Cool. She's got reason B+. Plus. That's really good, dude. Alright, I can use Thoron on you. Ooh, gosh, actually, you obliterate Hanuman. Whoa. Alright, let's have the her heal up Hanuman. Um, we could straight up... I just don't want some... I don't want a high-level unit to take, take him out yet. That's the thing. So we can rally Flane, whatever. Doesn't make a difference. Let's just... We can let Petra do this. No use. Goodbye. Witness Bridget Pride. Ooh, I'm glad I did that. Alright, and... Because the main thing I want to do is I want to have... Like, someone like Flame. Or Hanuman. Hanuman? What am I talking... What am I doing? Uh, I want one of them to... Take out the Death God. So they can get some much needed XP because like Caleb and Petra are already super high level. We'll use silence because that'll get her some XP, it'll work. And we'll use wind on this guy. That'll help. His battalion levels up. We can let you take out this guy. And then I think Dorothea can take out the other dude. Right? You can... With Thoron, you can do it, I think. Oh, so close! This is going to hurt, Never mind! Okay? Thank you, Dorothea! <laughs> we took out nearly every member... Neither every character on the map, so I'm, I'm alright with that. Good job. Good job, team! So steadfast! Manuela, are you uninjured? A few scrapes and bruises, but yes, I'm well enough. <laughs> Yay! Petra's probably gonna get MVP. What? I think... Did Petra not fight more enemies than I did? I guess I, I kind of handed the left side, but Petra, like, handled the right side. It, it's a good... I mean, Caleb getting MVP is a good thing, but I just... I would have thought it would have been given to Petra. I earned a battalion. Mac Macule Evil Repelling Company. The, one of the saints. Oh, we got another one. In deck. Sword fighters. Cool. How could anyone think that was the Death Knight? It was obviously just an ordinary bandit. Oh well. I may not have found my revenge, but at least we got to retrieve stolen goods. Manuela, you unthinking fool. Hanuman, I've heard enough already. How bloody stupid are you? If that were the real Death Knight, you'd have new, likely fatal wounds to match your first. Do you know how much you worried all of us? You should be ashamed. Oh, no. Honestly, Hanuman's right. Exactly. You are supposed to set an example for our students, yet you let emotion get the better of you? You're right. So there, I said that. It's true, but... Ugh. I'm sorry. I'll apologize to everyone later. Huh. I should say I'm sorry as well. I lost my temper just now. I see you act so irrationally and I lose my wits. I care about you a great deal and wish to see you safe. Will you believe me? <laughs> 
Yes, of course. I'm the same way after all. I let my emotions get the best of me. Ugh, we're both too old to be shouting all the time. So is everyone friends again? You're awfully quick to put a bow on this. Are you sick of us already, Professor? You're part of this, Professor. We are the only teachers this academy has. No need for bickering. Well said, Hanneman. Would you care to join me for a celebratory drink? That sounds lovely. Perhaps a nice cup of tea is in order. <laughs> <laughs> Why was it I invited? Yay! Alright, well now we can do an ocean view. Um, before we continue, in the free day, no! I was gonna see if we could do our supports now. But let's do the next paralogue now, an ocean view. Um, which is Flane and Sedith again. Uh, did we? I guess may maybe we didn't do one with these guys. I'm I, I mean, we've only done three and... It's been Ingrid, Dorothea, and then Hanneman and uh, freaking Manuela, and then these two. So obviously we haven't done that. But we're going to the Rodos Coast. An ocean view. Western church extremists have taken over land sacred to Keikel, uh, one of the four saints. I forget if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Sedeth hands out to rid the area of the men flames. This is going along. She's my teammate. Uh, she's on our in our stuff. So yeah, let's do it. An ocean view. White clouds. Chapter nine. The cause of sorrow. Brother, please wait. For the last time, Flame, the answer is no. You are departing for the Rodos Coast, are you not? I must come. You will do no such thing. I am not going there to pay respects at the cemetery, but to do battle. With you there, I will be beside myself with worry. It will be easier for me to fight if I know you are safe. But I must. Professor, you have come at just the right time. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> I only wish to make a small request. My dear brother is about to set forth on a most dangerous mission. A mission? Indeed. The Western Church is attempting to seize sacred ground by force. With this action, they are no longer merely believers of a different creed. They are a dangerous threat that cannot be ignored. We cannot allow the holy artifacts enshrined there to fall into their hands. I too wish to be of use to the church. And I do admit I am terribly worried about my brother. No matter my protests, he will not allow me to come. Professor, this is where you can help. Will you accompany us both on this expedition? Uh, why me? I'm the most battle capable. If Come you on. are there to protect me, my brother's fears will be allayed. Isn't that right, brother? I suppose your aid would indeed be useful, yes. I knew it! Please, Professor, will you join us? Uh, yeah, very well. Wonderful. Let us depart at once. Okay. Okay. So we get to bring ten people. That's good. Okay, so, uh, once again, I'm going to not have Manuel and Hanneman as main units, because I prefer to have them as backups, but we do, since we have to bring Sedeth, we do have to leave someone else on the bench. Actually, it's probably best we leave Edelgard, because she is one of the highest level on the team, second to, uh, well, actually Petra's higher level, so we'll bring Edelgard instead of Petra. Cool. Let's have, uh have excuse me let's have not manuela petra let's have petra be a dude i mean i guess they don't build relationships so should that should that actually matter i don't know i feel like it's probably good to have flane as uh give flane some attacking support because flane is one of our despite being a decently high level she's one of our weaker units all right we're pretty much good so victory conditions are routing the enemy and defeat is either of them fall in battle defile our goddess the sacred coast belongs to us the western church you are the heretics be gone from here at once silence dog of the apostates prepare to receive our righteous blades 
Okay, can either any of us go over the water? We'll recapture the monument. Everyone else should focus on removing the surrounding enemies. Wait, brother. I shall accompany you. Well, you can't. I don't think. Yeah, so it seems like Sadith has to take out everyone up to the left, because... I mean, maybe by... Okay. Well, actually, technically we can. It looks like it'll just have to be a space by space. And she wants to accompany, but she's not going to be able to. Oh, that's an assassin up here. Is he? I guess... Maybe not. Yeah, he is. He's a level 17 assassin. You're cheating! Alright, how much... Do you have a... 20, 20 damage? He's a percent chance to hit. How much do you do to Linhart? Nothing. Stay focused. I'll have Caleb take a step forward. I, do you do anything to even Caleb? No, you don't. You suck. That's my cue. Glad we got our full. Oh man, and that's. Yeah, we're having him dismount because. Put me in there. Yeah, that is not gonna be nice for Ferdinand because the friggin' horse units get like they I suck when it comes to the the sand, man. How much weapon durability does she have? 29. Does she have more than one? No, she only has the one bow. So, I won't even worry about it. I'm gonna just have her wait. It won't change anything, so we'll just we'll do that. I didn't know... No, I did. I, I, I gave Petra to Flane. Right, that's what happened. That sounds kind of bad. <laughs> you think about it. Alright, we'll have her come up here. How much damage would you do? Oh, that's why. They say it that's understandable, honestly. Let's go for the win. No crit, unfortunately. That would have been awesome, but it's fine. We're, we're still kind of good. Oh, man, Casper does not have the best of luck. I don't know if I want Cas... I might have Casper come out this way and... Try to help. I'm gonna have him use the Iron Lance, so that uh, that guy does not get to attack him twice. Petra would probably be. Oh man, Petra could probably get through this a lot quicker. All right, let's hit this dude to Thoron. Just take him out. Winning's always nice. And she levels up level 20, and her battle battalion is also maxed out too. So that's cool. Let's use Meyer B. Oh, Meyer B. Meyer. <laughs> it's just beta. And crit and destroy. Take over for me. I'm gonna have Caleb move over this way. I don't want him to attack right now. He's probably gonna still get attacked, but you know. Cool. Alright. Good job, Seda. I wish that I could have... Maybe I just will have Casper go over this way. Let's do it. Casper's like already in the water. Maybe Flame can go with him. I like that. I like that idea. We'll do that. And Ferdinand can do a lot to this dude. Oh, he can... Two hit, you can take him out with Iron Sword. And he dodges. Good job, this Ferdinand. Ferdinand's up to level 20. Very nice. Always getting. Did anyone lose any health? Sedef, I suppose. So I'll have... Uh, for now, Linhart use the Physic. Okay, that builds a relationship between Sedef and me, but not Linhart with him, which obviously makes sense, because... I doubt that they'd be able to pull- I could have rallied. I keep forgetting about that! Okay, and then Sedith. If we were to come up here, it'd be in attack range of both of these guys. This guy's already in his attack range. So, or, well, almost is, I think. Wait, hold on, hold on. How is your resistance? It's not that great. So I should wait to attack this dude up here. So I will actually have him move up 
and draw the, the dude in front of him. Not the magic guy and wait. Cause he he I mean he could do good damage against the, the magic guy, but and he's got a lot of health too, so he's gonna move that dude's gonna move a bit closer. The reason I was worried is just to in case that dude could do a lot of damage to Seth because he doesn't have the best resistance, but so we could go for the Iron Lance here. I hope I didn't move Flane this turn, because if I didn't, that'd be great to have him move back and get healed up. That'd be that would be good. Perfect. Apologies. Okay, curve shot does 13 damage, which would be cool. But let's have a magic user get up in his face first. Let's hit him with death because it has a high chance to crit. Doesn't crit, unfortunately. His reason's actually Perhaps up to A this well time. Taught. Cool. He did, got okay. So I didn't mention it, but his in the previous attempt, his uh, magic did get up to A, or his reason did get up to A in that last battle the previous times. This time it did not. But it's okay. it was it's okay because it just ended up. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. It, ju it just got up to there. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, you're going to attack Caleb. Oh! You do more than I wanted you to. Okay. I'm very surprised you didn't attack Casper. Casper definitely has less resistance than, than Sedith, man. <laughs> oh, he, that's why he had the hand axe, so he could have attacked him from close up. And he could have killed him, dude. He would have taken damage, but he could have taken him out. Oh, uh, it's actually kind of funny. No one makes it past me. Okay, we'll heal up Seth. Thanks. And we'll have Seth move up a little bit. They're all magic users. Okay, you don't do much damage to him, that's good. Yeah, if we can draw all of them away from the middle dude and then let uh, him... Oh wait, he's got aura, so probably... Does aura do better? Oh. Assails foes with rings of light. Oh my gosh! How do you do nothing? All right, we can just use the hand axe, take this dude down. Now you know your limits. Fortunately, Linhart can't couldn't do much of anything. It's kind of like strange. Thank you. Wow. These are really strong magic users, and unfortunately, Ferdinand is still lagging way far behind. So we could go for have Bernadetta do some damage to this guy. And she's mastered her archer skills. Oh, I get it now. And she's a shoe in to become a sniper, right? I don't think she could even fail. I didn't even check to see if Hubert was gonna do enough damage. I think the A, a button may have stuck, because I don't think I hit it twice on purpose, but it's okay. It all worked out. Didn't really matter. Yeah, you don't do much damage at all to him, which is good. And I'm having I'm gonna have Casper and Flane follow anyway. And good. Set up can take this dude out. Lament your weakness. One, and one of the other Okay, both of the magic users can attack him. Let's just move back one. Nah. They can't there's no, they can't do that much. You can do 16 and you can only do two. So a little more than I would have wanted. You can't do much, can you? Yeah, that'd be really nice to get. Maybe I should have given that movement ring to Ferdinand. I didn't think it'd actually be a big deal, if I'm being honest. I don't know why I keep having Bernadette attack people. Bernadette is too strong. Alright, hold on. How much is Thorn? Thorn does good damage to you. And you're gonna get the crit, so you're just 100% done. I 
I never could have pulled that off. Oh, that's actually bullshit, Bernadette. You know that. Oh, he's not even gonna attack him? What? Okay, I could do 22 straight up to you. Casper's not close enough yet. We can have Casper move one space up, though, and he won't get attacked. So we'll, ha we'll have you go for... The Iron Lance. Let's do some good damage. You're gonna take a big hit. Just slightly unfortunate, but we can have you move back and have Flane heal you up. And we're good. I don't think either of them are in the big dudes. Well, the big dude, the stronger dudes thing. Oh, she. Nice. She's mastered that class. Beautiful. Wish I had Ferdinand dismount immediately. I kind of didn't even think about that we were going to be on sand. All right, we'll heal uh, Hubert here. I almost called him Bearhold. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Okay. Enemy phase. This time you can do no damage because you probably stand. It's because you're standing next to Flane, I believe, probably. It'll make a lot of sense. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna have Sedith go and take out this dude. Might as well. Good. Destiny unfurls. And we'll have you way back here, why not? Alright, so. Uh, if I have you go up here, attack with the hand axe. Well, he doesn't do that much with magic. That's very surprising. Alright. Good job there, Casper. Can Flane heal? Flane can heal him up. Even though he doesn't necessarily need it because he'd be perfectly fine, but... Hey. Never hurts. Alright, and he can actually take this dude down, which is good. Just that wind. Do Must we? Be awful losing to me. Hey, Lernhart. Lernhart goes up to only my research. 19. And he mastered priest. Practice does make perfect. And he gets miracle. Yeah, he also did that in the previous battle, but well, he would have. But I guess either I arranged the team differently and I forgot or whatever. I could have maybe gone for the curve shot. I don't know if he was close enough for that though. We'll rally than heart because why not? We might as well. Yeah, if you're gonna go for Sedith, because Sedith literally can't attack you back, that's the only reason. Oh my gosh, Kayla took a lot of damage there. I did not expect that. Alright, I'll probably let Linhart heal Caleb. And then I'll have Hubert probably attack this, this dude. Uh yep, yeah, let's just do it. Fire. Goodbye. For Lady and he levels up to level 20. Very nice. Alright, let's go for the curve shot here. Let's just go for the curve the shot. Protects us. We will never yield to the likes of you. Cool. Can't, actually, I, I would I would not be surprised if Yeah. Yeah, I just kinda would have expected. I don't know. I don't know if I'll let Caleb do it yet. We'll see. At least Ferdinand's already level 20. Uh, I kind of want I want Caleb to attack with a sword. Because he might be close to freaking uh, getting close enough to like an A. Sweet. Because otherwise we might have to wait until the next free month in order to train that up. Alright, how much damage can you... Oh. I didn't mean to go up here. You can take him out. Heretics, prepare to taste the power of the true servants of the goddess. And he dodged. Nice. We got an advanced seal. We are no match for them. Brothers, retreat. Do you dare compound your crimes further? There will be no escape for you. Priest have started to retreat. Is there any of them? There's one. Oh. Well, son of a gun. If this dude gets to retreat, do we... Do I auto-fail? 
I swear, that would be actually like beyond frustrating. Let's let Caleb take this one out. His sword is still 65 points away. Damn, dude. Such goddess. Have you abandoned us? I got a black pearl. What does that mean? Amazing. Increases charm by two. Okay, it seems that Dorothea, like, our magic users can move faster than the rest of our units. That must be a magic thing. Uh, let's warp frickin' Hubert down here. Alright, maybe Sedith can get back in time. I doubt it. I think he's gonna escape. Goddess herself commanded me to live. If I lose because of this, I'm gonna be so thanks. pissed. The goddess doesn't want your thanks. We will send the knights to chase down the rest. Flame, will you place Thank some flowers God. at the monument? Of course, brother. That is what I came here to do. Okay. Thank goodness we didn't lose. I was very worried we would have lost. But Sedeth gets MVP, of course he does. He successfully completed Kvidig, and we got the Cycle Wyvern Company. Ooh, that's really That's actually really cool. We have too many people with the poison thing that I don't use. Sethlian monks. Nice. Your assistance is most appreciated. We will make certain to capture the priests who escaped. Only one escaped. I can only hope the Western Church will now see reason and abandon this place. But just to be safe, I have retrieved the holy artifacts. We cannot risk them falling into their hands. Cool. It's a staff and a sword. I will entrust them to you. I must confess, despite the situation, it was a pleasure to return here. This coast has a certain sentimental significance to my sister and me. Sentimental significance? Yes. This stone monument is not merely here to commemorate St. Keyhole. Keyhole. Oh, right. It is also the grave of my wife. Oh. You are safe now, Mother. Finally, you may find peace. They're not brother and sister. That makes it... I don't know. Does that make more sense that Seth is so protective? I guess it does. I th so I think she... I don't... Dude, I have no idea. Seahole, or Keyhole isn't the... Um, isn't the the female uh, saint either? Your mother is also buried here. I suppose you have earned the right to know. She's your daughter. But this That's must the simple remain answer. between us. Flame is actually my daughter. My late wife and her mother are the same person. Um, I had no reason to suspect that they. I, I mean. I can't tell their ages, dude. I don't know what set us ages. I don't. We don't know what flames is either. But I had no idea, honestly. Due to certain circumstances, it is more convenient for us to masquerade as siblings for the time being. Okay. There are many who would seek to harm Flame due to the unique blood she bears. Falsifying her identity is necessary to conceal her from such individuals. Mercifully, I happen to look quite young for my yes. age. Yes. We make rather convincing siblings, do we not? Mm -hmm. That's true enough. Mother loved the coast so much. She and I came here together often. Fishing was her favorite pastime. I used to sit and watch while she cast her line. I remember it fondly. You did so love to eat the fish she caught as well. Fish is my favorite food, it is true. Doing no small part to Mother. I still come here to fish from time to time using the skills my wife taught me. It reminds me how deeply I appreciate those years, and how I wish I could return to them. We cannot turn back the clock, Father. We must live our lives fully, in the present moment. <sighs> You're right. That is what she always said, isn't it? Dwell too much on the past, and you may be unable to move forward. Come then. Let us return home. Goodbye, Mother. I love you. I shall bring flowers again for you next time.
the Spear of Assault, and the Caduceus Staff. Alright, we'll have to see if any of our units can actually wield those. I don't know what crests are required for those to be used. I assume, I, I assume that they might change based on your the house you choose, um, what which two you get. So I think that the one that's the healing staff, I believe is probably going to be either for Flane or for Linhart. I believe Linhart is a crest, right? Or is Linhart one of the two? So, wait, okay. Uh, we actually have like, th th we have three that don't have a crest, right? I think it's just Petra, Casper, and um, Dorothea, right? All right, Hubert's going to go up in authority. Has been beneficial. He's up to his C+. Plus. Rally Perhaps resistance. Been well taught. Nice. Alright, Casper goes up in authority. Let's put this to the test. Alright, that is all for our... of that for now. Let's do Ferdinand and Bernadetta for uh, stable duty, because I'd really like Bernadetta to get better, and I like both of them to get better in horses, actually. And they have a four... The uh, expect, expe expectation is pretty good. So, whose goals did I, I wanted to change? Right, Ferdinand's, because I don't want him to focus in axe and heavy armor. I want him to do lance and heavy armor. I'm okay with that. Okay. Wham, pal, as I save all his feels, hit him with your fist. Train me up to hand hand brawling, and I'll make a great grappler. Focus on axe and brawling to skill uh, excel as war master. Um, focus on brawling to excel as a grappler. For now, sure. You have a much higher brawling skill, though. All right, what's? Oh yes, this is the, the ball. Ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, my sincerest apologies for the wait. Thank you for gathering here on the eve of the highly anticipated Not ball, the ball but tournament. To wait here, tournament. To the Academy-wide dance competition. Welcome to the White Heron Cup. <laughs> the competition will be judged by me, your humble servant, Alois Rongel, and also the acclaimed former songstress of the Mittelfrank Opera Company, Manuela Casagranda. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, and it should go without saying, but I swear to show no bias to my own house. Got it? Good. Last but not least, the glamorous assassin who does all of her dancing in the dead of night, Shamir Navran. Hmm. The three of us swear on our honor to judge the following proceedings with utmost impartiality and fairness. Let's see how well Fernandez. And with that, will the representatives of each house please make their way to the stage? Contestants, are you ready Ashton to dance? Marianne. And is the band prepared to play? Very well. Begin! That's cute. Time! All right. That's all, folks. I don't know who is the high. I, I assume Splendid. it's probably the highest charm out all of all of them. All three of you were fantastic. <laughs> now let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh my! Let's see. I suppose I have no choice but to vote for the Golden Deer House. Uh huh. No impartiality. The performance was artistic, beautiful, even. I vote for. The Black Eagle House. Eloise is the deciding vote. Well, you carried yourself as striking. Great feedback, both of you. Well then, let's see. Factoring in my own humble opinion. Yes, we have a winner. And I will announce who it is right now. Without <laughs> any, any delay. The winner of this year's White Heron Cup is... The Black Eagle House! 
<laughs> my boy, <laughs> Fernley. Of someone as accomplished as myself. I should check the other two characters' more, charm stats. Please give a big round of applause for our talented participants. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! He obtained the certification for dancer. Oh, that's awesome. Sword Dance Combat Art and the Sword Avoidance plus 20 ability. That's awesome, dude. So, I'm assuming it's like what Olivia did in Awakening, right? Where you could g dance and give another... If, if you're the dancer class, you can give another person another turn. It's Dimitri's birthday. That's cool. Uh, you, I want to buy you flowers. I don't really want to do a tea party. This is going to be a long episode. Because we did two battles. Nothing is impossible for us. It's you. What a relief. <laughs> Well, that's good to hear. Good, professor. Did they actually get better in writing? I think... Oh, yeah! Did she go up? She did, right? She was a D plus. Yeah! Yay! Dexterity plus four. I think I got it. Yes, you did. Good job, Bernadetta. Proud of you. Woo! Ferdinand went up in heavy armor. We have a bunch of people focusing and stuff. Bernadette doesn't need to focus on bows anymore. But Hanuman went up in whatever th weight minus three. I wonder if that helps on like sand. I still have much to learn. He got oh reason is what he went up in. Nice, cool. Okay, so this is the last actual free day, and I'm going to oh I unlocked another sport with Hubert. Let's do it. I was gonna hope I unlock another sport with someone else too. <laughs> it seems I am discovered. I suppose that means assassination is out of the question. At least for now. Assassination. Unusually watchful. Difficult to steal upon in slumber. Perhaps an odorless, tasteless poison. Lady Edelgard certainly took interest in a difficult one this time. Why are you following me? I suppose that question does warrant a response, considering it may mean your life. The answer requires me to explain some of the complex internal politics of the Empire. Are you familiar with Volkard von Arendelle? He is Lady Edelgard's uncle. Great. You may also know him as Lord Arendelle, the Empire's regent. Many years ago, he took Her Majesty and fled to the Kingdom of Fargus. Then after a time, he returned to seize power. Okay. Joining forces with Prime Minister Ire and my father, Lord Arendelle rendered Emperor Ionius the Ninth. Politically impotent. Lady Edelgard is Ionius the Ninth's daughter. I cannot begin to fathom the depth of her sadness at his betrayal. But it's nothing to do with me. I see something of Lord Arendelle in you. When I look at you, I feel I can almost see a second self lurking beneath the surface. <laughs> It is as if you are in constant dialogue oh. with something inside your heart. Something with desires very different from your own. Does that description feel familiar to you at all? Because to me, Damn you seem unpredictable. As though you could turn traitor at any moment. Well, that ain't... I could say there might be something to that. Or, no, not familiar at all. The more I learn about you, the less I like. Huh, is that so? I had thought you might be of use to Lady Edelgard. And I am. But now I am beginning to think you may, through no fault of your own, present too great a risk. Uh-huh. I hope you will prove me wrong, Professor. I would hate for this to come to bloodshed. <laughs> I don't- I can't take it- it's so weird. Because, like, he's a, a legitimately intimidating character, but I also can't take him- that seriously it's really strange i don't know how to explain it but <laughs> cool <laughs> all right i appreciate your effort yeah cool nice now uh i mean this week let's check for supports let's do our supports we have one between me and manuela yes and then it looks like what Bernadetta and Hubert. Okay, so let's do this this one first. Oh, I have to. Okay, so I have to go meet them out in the 
Yay. All right, let's just do this. Bernadette and Hubert. Good morning. The weather is nice today. So, uh, it's, uh, really nice weather we're having, isn't it? Indeed. Did you want something? I just, uh, I'm really sorry. I can't accept your apology until I know what it's for. Oh, good point. <laughs> Sorry, I said you were terrifying. Is that all? I'm used to that. No apology necessary. B but you've been avoiding me since then, right? You even stopped doing your deathly grin. I am merely trying not to frighten you. Is there something wrong with that? Um, it's not working. And yes, there is. You can't quit talking and laughing just to try to make me feel better. That's not really fair. I need to master my own fear. Is that right? Yes. R right. <laughs> yeah! Why? You told me not to forego laughing, so I laughed as hard as I could. Is it helping to conquer your fear? Yes. I mean, someday it might. Oh, poor Bernadetta. Poor sweet, naive Bernadetta. Anyways, I can't do the other support, unfortunately, here. So we'll, uh, basically, I'm gonna click rest, and then, yeah, we want to repair my sword, because, I mean, why not? And we already did both paralogs, so. We're gonna rest up. Maybe I unlocked another paralog with somebody. I did, maybe. Manuela, okay, we can do it now. Cool. <laughs> Professor, a pleasure to see you. Are you praying? I've never been very good at praying. I was here to confess my foolishness. While I'm at it, may I confess something to you too? Uh, no need to ask. Go ahead. I realize what a burden I've been. On you, I mean. After every breakup, I neglect my work. And I know how that affects you. I'm completely worthless as a woman. Can you imagine how that feels? Oh, I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. I just know it. You think so too, don't you? No. Really? So if I couldn't find anybody else, you'd marry me? Oh, don't worry. I can tell by the look on your face you didn't mean it. What's wrong with me? It's not my looks. I'm still gorgeous. Or am I? Be honest. Do I look old? No, not possible. You don't look old. I'm the songstress who swept the empire off its feet. Men professed their love for me hourly. It can't be my looks. Well, I mean, you're, she, yes, you're an attractive I knew character, I was but right. that's not. I'd be in what? real trouble if I weren't right, this beautiful. No, no, keep talking. Oh no. Talk if the problem it, isn't so. my looks, and they are not the problem, then it must be what? My personality? I'm going to go I I know you're trying to find a way to say it gently, but you think there's a problem, don't you? I suppose I can be a bit unkempt. I do have a short temper, and I may be a little lazy, sometimes. But I've always heard fellas, you know, like a woman with a few flaws. Seems to me there are plenty of flawed girls who have landed themselves a good man. So maybe, my trouble is I'm not imperfect enough. Do you think I could use a few more flaws? Um, no. Are you saying I'm perfect as I am? <laughs> Come now, you'll make oh, me Oh goodness! <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Did I unlock another one? Oh, this is two days before the, the ball. ball is tomorrow. Wait. I have no worthwhile memories of such events yet. It is. I'm still looking forward to this one. As am I. 
In the sense that I look forward to destroying all of the unworthy suitors who will inevitably swarm Lady Edelgard. I will admit, Edelgard is a dork. <laughs> However, when it comes to elegance on the dance floor, I am superior. Great. You're not a bad dancer, Ferdy, but you do have some moves that are hard to watch. You did win the White Heron Cup out you honor me with your after all those. Words. I understand that I am sometimes too dazzling to behold directly. I'm envious of your positive attitude. I also know how to dance, in theory. <laughs> Maybe I should participate as well. Not me! You wouldn't catch me dancing at a ball any sooner than you'd catch a fish swimming through the sky! <laughs> well, you do tend to flop around like a fish on the land Aww. after all. Well, why would you say that? Now I feel like a fish on a skillet. On a skillet? <laughs> Never mind. Speaking of the ball, do we get to pick who we dance with? I wonder who I should ask. A bold subject change. Should Lady Edelgard wish it, I would be honored to. I will fight with all that I have within me. Fighting? No, that's not really the point. I will not be as a fish upon the flame. <sighs> Good work, Burn. Oh, I love it. I have a proposition. Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today. Like a class reunion? It's a great idea. Five years from today will be the Millennium Festival for Garrig Mach Monastery. I've heard the magnitude of the festivities will exceed all prior years. Oh, how exciting! Sounds like a great excuse to come visit our dear professor. You will be seeing how much growing I have done. You will be pleased, Professor. This idea is good. Who knows where each of us will be in five years' time, or who we will become. Still, I have faith that all of us will gather and celebrate our reunion. That's assuming the Professor is still here in five years, and not enjoying a cozy early retirement. <laughs> Even if that's the case, you will come, won't you? Whether or not you're still teaching... I don't really have a choice, so yeah, of course. Don't forget, my teacher. Even if the Millennium Festival should be cancelled, I promise to return here. Yep, I've heard there's a time skip in this game. I know nothing about it, but I've heard that there is a time skip. Because I've seen several people on my Twitter feed liking and, like, retweeting drawings of characters' posts thing. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. I'm not ready for that. So... Thanks for watching. I will be on Judy Dix. Appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe for more. I'll talk to you later.